Good quality audio is very important for a good stream and getting good quality audio out of the kitchen is very difficult. It's full of flat surfaces, the acoustics are terrible and it's full of noisy things. I've made a lot of improvements to the quality of my stream over the past year or so and I think there are three key areas of focus. If you are someone who is new to streaming or is streaming from the kitchen and wants to improve the quality of the audio. Number one, the microphone. When I first started streaming, I was just using this, my smartphone. I was using it as a camera and the microphone at the same time. This worked, but there were problems. I was often moving away from the camera slash microphone. The microphone often wasn't facing in the direction that I was facing. Like I said, it worked, but it wasn't ideal. The first thing I tried was a dedicated microphone. And for this, I used the Rode USB microphone. This is a great microphone and it improved the quality of my audio instantly. I placed it on the kitchen bench where I was spending most of my time, but I still had the same problem I had with the iPhone. It worked, it sounded better, but it wasn't ideal. I realized that I needed a microphone on me at all times and I needed to avoid getting tangled in cables. And that's why I settled on the Rode Go 2. The Rode Go 2 is a wireless lavalier microphone and the quality is exceptional. The wireless range is excellent, the battery life is good, and I wish I had bought it sooner. I also picked up the Rode Lavalier extension, which is a little bit more subtle than having the device clipped directly to my apron. They are a little bit expensive, but you can often find them on sale on Amazon or on eBay, and a secondhand purchase is absolutely something you should keep an eye out for. I now consider it a key part of the audio setup of my stream. The second area of focus for me was software. It's important to know that even with a good microphone, especially a lav mic like this, you're still going to need to mess around with the EQ to get the best sound out of it. I use a VST plugin called Nectar Elements from Ozone. This is basically a magical one-click button that makes your voice sound amazing with no effort. I wouldn't actually recommend this though unless you already own it because it can be quite expensive. It does go on sale occasionally, but there are many other free options out there. A quick Google will yield a number of results for free VST equalizer plugins. OBS supports VST plugins, and there are many, many YouTube videos that show you how to use them. At the end of the day, this is a free way to improve the quality of the audio of your stream, and you will learn something new in the process. This is the area of focus that I recommend the most, especially if you're on a tight budget. The third area of focus was control. I'm often making doughs, batters, sauces, and mixing things up is often noisy. The KitchenAid is noisy, the food processor is noisy, the blender is noisy. I do try and time these moments so that I can put my BRB screen up and take a break while something mixes, but sometimes that's not possible, and I needed a way to mute my microphone without leaving my viewers with a completely dead silence. To do this, I use an app called Touch Portal. It runs on my iPad and connects to OBS, and I've set a button up to mute my microphone as well as play some elevator music in the background so that my viewers know that I'm not having a technical problem I'm just making sure they don't have to listen to a blender for a minute I don't need to do this necessarily but it's a courtesy to my viewers especially for those who are listening on headphones or earbuds just make sure that they don't feel like they've had their head stuck in a blender for 30 seconds so those are the three areas that I have focused on over this year I've improved the quality of the audio of my stream and I've learned a lot of new skills in the process if you're a cooking stream or someone who is thinking about broadcasting from the kitchen. I hope some of these ideas have helped.